the present perfect we just already and yet. The present perfect tense is used to describe something that happened in the past, but the exact time it happened is not important. It has a relationship with the present. Example, I have done my homework. I finished my homework in the past. Exactly when in the past that I forgot is not important. We also use this tense when we want to talk about unfinished actions or states or habits that started in the past and continue to the present. Examples I have known Karen since 1994. She has lived in London for three years. I worked here for six months. For affirmative statements, we have this formula. Subject, pronoun, plus verb have or has, plus past participle. For negative statements, we have subject, pronoun, plus verb have or has, plus not, plus participle. The same way we have in this chart, the formula for just no questions have or has plus subject plus past participle or in double H questions we have a double H word plus have or has plus subject pronoun plus past participle. In the present perfect we often use yet in negative sentences and questions to talk about something that hasn't happened but that we expect to happen soon. It comes at the end of the sentence. Examples. I haven't arrived yet. Have you arrived yet? Just to emphasize that something happened very recently. It goes before the past participle. Example. I have just arrived. Already to show that something has been done or finished sooner than expected. It usually goes before the past participle. Examples I have already arrived. 